Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed. Madison Avenue and it's a fabulous event it's all about autism and it's all about heart a cause and I'm here with this fabulous celebrity who came to give his support introduce yourself to the camera my name is Imamu Mayfield and I'm the former IBF cruiserweight champion of the world that's impressive now tell my audience why you're such a big supporter of tonight's event uh, my son is uh, has autism and um, you know, whatever I can do to um, to lend a hand to the cause, I, I definitely want to. Um, it's something that's definitely um, fulfilling, fruitful, and definitely something that will enlighten a lot of people's eyes to uh, what this, this plight is. Um, it's something that is uh, it's just sweeping our nation. Um, a lot of kids are uh, being afflicted with autism at uh, alarming rates, and um, people need to wake up and understand what this autism is really all about. How, when did you find out that your son had autism? Uh, probably about three years old. We we found out. Um, you know, first they told us that uh, you know maybe he had fluid in his ears and um, maybe he needed um, tubes in his ears. But um, later on, we came to find out that uh, he was diagnosed with autism. And um, you know, we began taking steps to you know to just kind of uh, counteract the um, the disease. And um, it, it's just unfortunate that. Um, you know, a lot of people really don't understand all of the different degrees of autism. I mean, there's, there's so many different levels. And fortunately enough, my son is very high functioning. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's making great strides in um, independence. But um, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. And, and that's um, why you're here today, this absolutely, afternoon. Absolutely. Now, tell my audience what you are working on. Um, can you tell my audience what's what's in the projects, what's in the works for well, you? Well, some of the projects that we're working on is the anti-bullying campaign. Uh, we're associated with the WBC, the World Boxing Council. And, um, you know, we're, we're uh, a, I am the spokesperson, the national spokesperson for the anti-bullying campaign that we have going. And, um, you know, it really speaks to a lot of the things that are going on in our communities as far as, like, kids being bullied and teased and picked on. and. A lot of a lot of people don't realize how uh, like the damaging effects of this this bullying that goes on. I mean, some oh, people. Oh, I are, know. You don't have to tell me. I w I had scoliosis when I was a kid, and I mean I still have that. And uh, you know I was teased, so I know what that's like. I know sure. what being bullied is all about. Sure. I mean, and there's a lot of things that people deal with well into their you know older ages. You know. People think, oh, it's just little kids that get bullied. No, people get bullied, and the effects are so long-lasting that, uh, you know, a lot of people take their lives over that. You know, a lot of people... I know. Isn't a lot that of people, unbelievable? It's, unbel it's amazing how deep it goes. I mean, people, like, a lot of times skirt over it, and, you know, they'll talk about it for a little bit, and, uh, you know, for, for uh, you know, political uh, ideas, but um, it really is something that really needs to continuously be addressed each year. I mean, there's things that we talk about and bring up 
each year, you know, in our in our political lives and you know in the media. But this is something that definitely needs to be addressed overall. I mean, and continuously because it's something that goes on every day. It's not there's not a a day that goes by that people are not being kids are not being bullied, adults are not being bullied and taken advantage of and. You know, so we need to speak to those people that would prey on the and weak. we need to address it, absolutely. Well, absolutely. Now, I would like you to tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about how we can support and contribute towards this cause. The WBC Cares is, uh, is an association, um, like I said, that's associated with the World Boxing Council and the WBC against anti-bullying. You know, its anti-bullying campaign is a, a website that you can go to. Um, the WBC Cares. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure if it's a .com or if it's a .org. Right, yeah. or a .org. Now, but what, where can we find information about you? I uh, say, you can uh, go to freeholdboxingfitness.com. Spell that. Freehold, F-R-E-E-H-O-L-D, boxing, B-O-X-I-N-G, fitness, F-I-T-N-E-S-S, dot com. What about Facebook? Can we follow you on Facebook? Yes, we, are, we also... Uh, you yourself are personal. Not me personally, no, but okay. through the uh, business, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Terrific. Well, yes. I want to thank you so much for that wonderful thank interview. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Listen. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews and more celebrities right here at this very worthy course for autism, right here on the red carpet. Pink champagne kisses. <laughs> right here at the Sony building and I'm here with this very lovely beauty queen pageant winner uh, Miss Teen California uh, tell me darling first of all introduce yourself to the camera hi everyone my name is Emily Shaw Miss Teen California 2013 now, tell me why you are a big supporter of this event and for heart of course and for autism why do you donate your time to this wonderful event? Tell my audience, explain to my audience all about that. Sure, of course. I love doing charity work. One of the main reasons why I enter pageants is in order to do my charity work, in order to build my platform, um, build platform for different charities. So I do as much charity work as I can. Anything that involves any type of community service, I'm I'm in it full force. I promote it, I advertise it, I try to raise as much funds as I can for it. Um, and but this is a particularly wonderful charity. This really is indeed. Is. This is indeed. They, you know, they've come together, brought so many uh, sponsors. They're doing so much. I mean, once you know, if you go upstairs, there it is so incredible to see how many vendors have come together and how many designers have come together to support this amazing cause. So I think it's a great, it's a great event. And we have you, Miss Teen California. Now tell my audience all about this pageant, uh, Miss Teen California. Is this any association with Miss America? Um, we'll see. There's all these different types of um, systems. You know, there's the Miss Miss USA system, Miss America system, uh, Miss World system. But this uh, system, particularly, is one of the only systems that allows teens to go uh, internationally. So once I do California, I've won for California, thanks, Lavilly. So now I get to go to uh, Miss Teen United States, which is in June. That's in Houston. And now whoever is the winner for Miss Teen United States, she gets to go compete at Miss Teen, which is the complete international pageant. And that you know that includes Brazil, India. United States, Canada, um, Curacao, China. So it's it's a really great organization that really promotes teens. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes. How old are you, darling? I'm 18. I just turned 18. Oh my God! To be 18 years old again. <laughs> I remember when I was 18. You have so many years ahead of yourself. Now, tell my 
20s, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? What kind of goals do you have? Well, I'm currently, uh, this fall, I have admitted into Cal State LA, so I'm going to study business for filmmaking, and um, hopefully... Oh, a filmmaker! She wants to be a filmmaker! A director, a producer? Um, I would love to direct and act. First, I would like to direct so I get the idea behind the camera, and then I would eventually like to go in front of the camera and start acting. But we'll see where it takes me. Anything in the entertainment business, I am fine with. Whether it's being, you know, a uh, casting director, an agent, an actress, whatever, whatever. It's cool with me. I love it all, and I'm very passionate about it, so. Now, if we want to follow you, do you, do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook page? I do have, I have a Facebook t uh, page, Miss Teen California 2013, I believe it is. Um, I also have a um, Instagram. You can, you can add me, M Shaw, E-M-S-H-A-H. And um, I have a Twitter, M Shaw 124. So you can, those are my personal accounts. I really um, promote, you know, my personal life more than I do with, with associated with the pageant. So I try to do both. And what is the pageant's website? The pageant's website is uh, Miss Teen California, and it's spelled like the teen, the T period, E period, E N. TeenCalifornia.com. Yeah, teen yes. Wonderful, Thanks. wonderful. Well, I want to thank you so much for that wonderful interview. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And we'll be back in a moment, dogs, with more interviews right here. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a fatly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. been a crybaby productions darlings